Hello guys, this is Divine Irony from Gosson's EU and this is part 67, oh, no, 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 I got it the wrong way around. This is part 76 of the World of Warcraft Let's Play. We are killing Terrafiends because we have almost completed the Pools of Argonaut quest. We just completed the Pools of Argonaut quest and we are going to this goblin quest giver. He's directly east of, well, I, I forgot what the horde name of the... Hornhold and Fralmar, yeah. He's directly east of Fralmar. Uh, he's a he's a goblin quest giver. He's kind of out of the way. There's no real indication t that he's here, but he is here. Um, we got a qu we got a quest item by the way from one of those things to talk to a scenario and expedition leader. But what we need to do for this um, goblin is to collect six. Um, Threader spare parts, which are all in this um, worm pit. So what we're going to do is, right after we did that, we complete those. We completed Outland Sucks. Yeah, very nice, isn't it? That's the name of the quest, Outland Sucks. We hand in the quest to this guy. He gives us some fell iron ore. He's us some kind of insult, sir, and then tells us to free. Um. Yeah, I think he just tells us to free his friends who were trapped in these uh, cages by the Shattered Hand Orcs. Uh, more like, more commonly named as Fell Orcs. The Fell Orcs are in these big camps here. They're not that hard to kill considering we're level 61. Uh, but don't pull too many of these guys if you don't think you're up to it. Or you don't have a class which can pull several mobs of these at once. Uh, it's best to be more cautious than die unnecessarily. Um, these Shattered Hand Acolytes are kind of weird, considering they have somehow ha ha have the ability to Frost Nova, Drain Life, and Heal, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, but yeah, Acolyte seems like an awesome class, actually, now. Um, well, we, we've saved two goblins, and we're going to go to the last uh, cave now. We need to kill another... No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. The Acolytes can't do Frost Nova, the Mages can. The Acolytes can only heal and do... Uh, a little bit of a drain life. So I was um, completely idiot there. Uh, we just saved all the goblins and the quest is called How to Serve Goblins. Well, really we are because we just did set a quest for this guy for no reason. We give him, he gives us some alcohol to drown our worries and also some gold. What we need to do now is we need to look through um, Hellbo Poo to look for a shredder, pa shredder key which he lost with the Hellbo. So yeah, we're looking for shit. So yeah, we're doing some very demeaning quests for this goblin, really, and I don't know why we're continuing to do it, but we're looking through Fellhound Poo. Uh, a lot of people say that there's a there's something really wrong with the quest designer in uh, out in well in Burning Crusade because there's about three different quests which have something to do with looking through poo. So there's someone in uh, there's someone in Blizzard who has something really wrong with them. It, mentally, because it keeps popping up. Don't know why they wanted to do it, but we have to do it for some quests. Now, once we handed in that uh, shit quest, yeah, ah, pun, shit quest, uh, we uh, have to do a quest where he tells us to go into this demon infested mine. I have no idea where he stays right outside this demon infested mine, because if they decided to attack him, he can't defend himself. So, why he's here, I have no idea. He wants us to kill the mine's leader, who is called Urgaz, who is stationed underneath Fralma. We kill Urgaz, he's here, right at the end of the cave. We kill this Gnarg Zapper who's protecting him, and we go out. And I think we're going to level from handing in this quest to this guy. But, so let's see whether we do. Hand in the quest to this guy. Where is he? There you are. I'm handing in the quest to you. We got a better weapon now. We don't level up, but we only need 200 XP to level up. Uh, we've got a new mining pick, but it's an axe as well, and it has better stats and damage than our level 50, 54 axes, so uh, we're going to use it. So yeah, our first weapon upgrade. It's a mining pick. Isn't that something like you... something happened at level 11? Because I remember... No, I didn't do that at level 11. There was another character, sorry. Yeah, my first upgrade for one of my characters is actually a mining pick. So, yeah. Now, a quest we're doing for the Temple of Telemat again is we need to get a Voidwalker to low HP and use a 
and use an item on them to get a glowing sanctified crystal. Now we've leveled to level 62 and we put an extra point in concussion which increases whatever the hell I said it did in the last video uh, to 2% instead of 1% so it just doubles the effect. Uh, the quest we're doing now is we have to go to the Great Fisher. This is south and a little bit west of uh, the Temple of Telamat. We need to go into this fissure to kill four Stone Scythe alpha, um, Alphas and four Stone Scythe Whelps. Now we've gone to the, into this uh, cave here because we also have the quest to kill the Rock Flare Matriarch who is called Black Talon. Uh, Black Talon the... I can't read his name, he's Black Talon the something. Uh, it's a level 63 elite, it's not as dangerous as of elites as you can see. It's only got 27k HP. Uh, I used my two... Um, I used my two Spirit Wolves to solo it. Spirit Wolves, awesome ability guys for Enhancement Shamans, it's invaluable. Now, now that we killed um, a lot of the mobs inside the cave and that mob outside, we have now killed all the necessary alphas. And just to say guys, alphas are more rare in the Great Fisher than whelps. The whelps can be found all across these like, like massive stone structures. Well not really massive, like these small stone structures popping out of the ground. They're all around those. Now, these aren't the only mobs in the area. As you can see, there are also tunnelers. But again, they really don't do that much. Now, these these stone scythe mobs have an, uh, an extra ability, by the way. They go at a certain point into kind of like a immune state. So, if you don't hit them at all, they don't get any damage boost. But the more you hit them, uh, the quicker they'll go out of their like uh, immune form. Uh, and they will... Um, and they will become five times enraged, meaning they do more damage. But since they're whelps and they don't really hit that hard, I just couldn't be bothered waiting uh, the ten seconds or five seconds it took uh, for them to um, what we gonna, what was I going to say? For waiting for for them to uh, get out of the immune state, and I just powered through it, and I just took the damage as it went. Uh, we're going back to Hon Hold now, guys, to hand in the Terrafine quest. Which is the quest we were doing in the Agana pools. So we hand in the quest to this guy, and that's it. There's nothing else you get from the uh, quest. Just just some eleven point eleven oh eleven hundred and seventy seven hundred and sixty off oh, eleven oh, eleven thousand seven hundred and sixty experience. There you go. We're handing in a quest to this person again. We're handing in a quest to this person. Uh, I don't remember what which persons have any reference. To to any quest. This is the Magar quest obviously. We get an uh, we get an increase to our necklace. We we get we get an upgrade to our necklace and an upgrade to our boots. So yeah. As you can see we're just get improving our stuff. Now we got a quest from that scout there. We're handing in a quest to this guy. Uh, and we're gonna be doing some more quests now. Now the quest first quest we're gonna be doing is we're going to the pools of Agana again because we're going to this massive pit commander well it's pit lord really they call pit lords we're going to this massive pit lord skeleton and we need to use this kind of like cleansing mixture right in front of him you do it and it summons this um felguard i think it's called a felguard uh who has 8k experience 8k hp you kill him he's not that hard to kill and you get the quest experience uh, unfortunately for me, I also pulled two mobs at the same time. So yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, I don't really know what to say now anymore. If you can't tell, I'm completely exhausted from speaking. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm saying now. We hand in the quest to this guy. We got an extra ring. We got an improvement to our ring. Yes, it's a strength ring, but it's still better than our. Terabad level 40 rings, so we might as well use it. Um, and we're pulling a Raging Colossus. Now, these Raging Colossus are absolute assholes to kill. The reason is, when they set to a certain HP, they split. And these split mobs do a hell of a lot of damage, and they enrage if you don't kill them. Now, if you're a Shaman, I suggest not even pulling them unless you have Spirit Wolves um, spirit wolves out because you will die and as you can see here I can't kill one of these without spirit wolves and uh, we, do, we do complete this quest by the way in my let's play but I don't uh, kill them without spirit wolves I come back here every once in a while to get a uh, spirit wolves back up 
So thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, I'm going to die here again and I hope to see you in part 77, yeah 77.